Seattle, Washington is full of culture, coffee, nature, and hipsters. They call it the Emerald City, probably because it's such a damn gem. But more importantly, how is the food and beer? Well, if you're curious about some great local brews, foods, and donuts in Seattle, then welcome to the Pacific Northwest, y'all. And don't forget to hit that like button because it's a huge help to amateur creators like us. Morning. Morning on the way. Well, it's called class, Sharon. <laughs> hey, Michelle, what do you have in that bag? Paper plate for you. <laughs> Paper plate for me. <laughs> really nice napkin for you. <laughs> oh, it's an East Eats Here napkin. We have two gourmet, not brios or fancy at all, honey wheat sandwiches. <laughs> Topped with cheddar cheese and egg. <laughs> <laughs> we got this. Seattle is a six hour direct flight from Orlando, Florida. Considering that we can fly direct to Ireland in about the same time frame, it's a good reminder of how big the continental United States really is. Hey, welcome to Seattle. Welcome to Seattle. So we are about as far away from Orlando, Florida and the continental United States <laughs> as we could be, but we're excited to be here in Seattle with two of our best friends to explore. Mm -hmm. We're staying at a really neat Airbnb and we are going all around the city trying some of the best donuts and other foods. And breweries. Well, Michelle will try food there since she is with child drinking for two, but <laughs> We're gonna give it a try. We're super excited. Our Airbnb is here in West Seattle, and we're actually focusing outside of downtown for this mm -hmm. trip. We're focusing more on the outskirts of Seattle and these different areas. So we're really excited to kind of focus our areas, um, maybe a little off the beaten path things. Yes, so get excited to explore Seattle with us. Literally, Michaela goes west. Went as far west as you could. <laughs> Michaela really went west, <laughs> is how we're trying to say. <laughs> our Airbnb came with a really cool and unique amenity. It's a whale vertebrae. Wait, what? Yeah, like like a vertebrae from a whale. Apparently the owners are scientists, so, um, you know, whale vertebrae. Yeah. Cool. Never seen that before. Washington State is known as the Evergreen State for its abundant evergreen forests, but if you time your visit to spring and summer, you just may get some extra colors. We're at our next great Seattle brewery. We are at the Ghost Fish Brewery, which is by these really cool murals of musicians like Chris Cornell, rest his soul. Super excited to try some more beer and get some food for you, because I, I want you to try some beer. But she can smell my breath later. Makes I'm you happy? I'm a ghost fish. Ah, oh, it's a ghost fish. Ghost Fish Brewing Company is an award-winning brewery that produces all gluten-free craft beers. You may think you'd be able to taste the difference, but as an avid beer drinker, I can assure you that their beers pass the test. They weren't kidding when they said, unusual grains, legendary taste. Grapefruit IPA on the only sunny day in Seattle. Yep, it's the way to live life. <laughs> So what is the hidden happy hour that pulled us to downtown? Would you believe that one of the best happy hours in Seattle is actually at the Seattle Mariners baseball game? Yup. This is pretty cool on a sunny Seattle day. Starting two hours before each game, there are $5 craft beers at the pen. Baseball and five dollar beer? Yes, please. Five dollar beer. beer! And a seven fifty chocolate, but not really chocolate milkshake. There's <laughs> controversy there. There's I mean. But look at these cool hats we all have. Woohoo! And look at this view. Hat night with a view. 
Seriously, happy hour here is worth it. $5 beers in Seattle, that does not exist. Happy hour is a real thing. With Liz. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's the kids beer cup. Garlic fries. <laughs> Wait, it's the apple slices. <laughs> Seattle way? I don't know. One thing to know here is that it's sunny, so it feels like it's gonna be a warm night. But we all have blankets, because the moment the sun goes down, we're gonna be freezing our asses off. <laughs> so right now it's very pleasant. We'll check in in just a little bit, but that's where the garlic fries help. T-Mobile Park has also stepped up its game with some great food options, including Seattle favorite Paseo's Caribbean sandwiches. But note, there are some unique side items. Yeah, we added grasshoppers. And that's what they are. It's a literal freaking grasshopper. <laughs> we got sandwiches. The grasshoppers. Disgusting. We're gonna try grasshoppers. Not my pregnant wife, but me. I can see the thorax. Calm down. Disgusting. Calm down. <laughs> Grasshoppers. It smells awful. Oh no. That does not smell good at all. You know what? You know what that tastes like to me? Like if a raisin was crispy. That's what it tastes like to me. And I mean that in the least flattering way possible. I'm very put off that I can pick out it's their an, actual legs <laughs> with 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 their wings on it. I'll be honest with you, I don't need it again. I you prefer know, popcorn. You know, people <laughs> in Sri Lanka eat this like every day. And I don't. But don't worry, it only costs five dollars. Right on. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it because we bought it, but. It's not good. It's terrible. Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> they're just, they're just bad. Ew. Terrible. You know what's weird? It's like, this is a, a grasshopper ass. It's the thorax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. She won't kiss me because I ate a grasshopper. You ate like... Okay, first donuts in Seattle. Mm -hmm. We're at Good Day Donuts, not to be confused with Good Dough Donuts in Jacksonville. And it is a good day because I literally just woke up to Caleb saying, hey babe, you wanna go get some donuts? Yes. It's the best way to wake up. Team Donuts, let's do it. It's a donut hug. <laughs> good Day Donuts is exactly what we love in a donut shop. Spectacular, creative, and locally sourced donuts. Yum! Michelle's gonna sneak a look. Sneaking a little peek. Okay. Close it, close it. Rhubarb fritter. Sea salt glazed. Maple old fashioned. Buttermilk hunk. Butter hunk. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, the sea salt is so good. Yeah. I've never had a glaze with sea salt. Mm. Mm. That place, 
is amazing. Mm -hmm. Good day. Mm -hmm. Good day indeed. Mm -hmm. Good day, good press. So we are at Great Notion Brewery, which is a Portland, Oregon brewery, but it has two outposts here in Seattle. So we had to stop at Top Pot Donuts, which is a, a really famous local establishment here in Seattle. They have seven or eight locations, fantastic donuts and coffee. We tried it one time a few years ago. Now it's our time to come back. The goods. The goods. Maple old fashioned. Lemon old fashioned. Cookies and, cream. Cookies and cream. Three friends in the city, on the car, eating some donuts. Can't wait. Let's do it. It's cakey. It's good. <laughs> I'm a sucker for all things lemon. It matches your coat and your mask. It does. It's coated in lemon flavoring. Mm. Okay. Great first choice for today. Mm -hmm. If beer is your thing, then Beer Star has to be on your list. This tap room features just about any kind of beer you could dream of. It's like a kid walking into a toy store, except I'm a grown man with a beer gut. Okay, we got Lil Woody's, L-I-L, Lil Woody's. Look at the size of this bag of french fries. That's not even the most exciting part because you can get a side of shake to go with it. So I got a side of chocolate milkshake. A so, milkshake? Yeah, to dip your french fries in because why the hell not? <laughs> yep. It's like taking fries in a frosty, which we've all done. You know we have. And we got the Trotter Burger. This has uh, obviously burger on it, but it's got horseradish, <laughs> chopped up bacon, apples, and did I already say horseradish? Nope. Horseradish. It's gonna be yummy. Open that mug up. A little Woody's, oh, caramelized onions. Did I say that? Because that's caramelized onions. <laughs> Can I go for it? Go for it. The apple crunch in it is phenomenal. So good. Mm. Okay, we're on the way to the airport, and Charlie had the great idea to stop one last time. We are so, well, lucky that we saw Lucky Donuts. This place has been providing the Burian neighborhood with a plethora of fluffy, delicious donut options for over 20 years. It is a must-stop for donut lovers. It was a last moment decision. One more donut on the way. Because we deserve a donut. You, everyone deserves a donut. We do deserve a donut, because we haven't had enough. I mean, seriously. Let's this is only it. the fourth donut shop we've been to. <laughs> <laughs> this is commitment. I really have drank everything in Seattle. I don't know that there's a better beer city out there, but damn it, I'll keep trying to find it. 
but this was an incredible libation town. And you did so great to let me partake in that. I'm a good DD. She's a good DD. Thank you. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed our food and drink adventures in Seattle. This city surprises us with every visit and always leaves us wanting more. Thank you for watching and please hit that like and subscribe button to join us on more travel adventures.